Veteran Director Martha Coolidge, a former president of the Directors Guild of America, wholeheartedly supports the ACLU's call for an Equal Employment Opportunity Commission investigation into the woeful underemployment of female directors. But she says the civil rights group was wrong to blame the DGA for the problem. The DGA has worked harder and thrown more money at trying to solve the problems of discriminatory employment than anyone else in the industry, she told Deadline over lunch the other day at Arts Deli in Studio City. Despite the fact that its members are primarily men, they have put a remarkable amount of effort into representing and promoting women and minority directors.